Do you ever have one of those times when you just decided, I can't do this anymore? I'm done with this. I hate this. I've never liked this. It was fine for a week. I can't take it no longer. Okay, well, I've had one of those. So, I talked to Levi today. And what did you tell me? We can put the treadmill where? You can exercise on it in your room? Yes. So, I did a clean out of his room today. Um... This hallway, you can't get down this hallway. I took the desk out of his room because he hasn't sat at his laptop forever. In fact, his laptop is right here. Um, but he hasn't hasn't sat at it. I don't look in my laundry room when he do laundry. Hasn't sat at it in forever. And I think I had a bag sitting on top of this bag. I thought there was three bags right here. He gave up lists. He told me I could take the list because he already had some lists. So, in his room, I rearranged. I know his room is like, this is his room. Um, he did, he's got it right there. I gave him two bags. I gave him them two bags and said that we had to get rid of some bags for him, in order for him to keep a couple of bags. So we put three bags out here. He's done brought a bag in here, set it down right there. So he don't want to give up. He says he will, but he don't. Okay, so this is Levi's room. For any of you guys that haven't ever seen his room, this is his room. Um, up until today, his futon sat right there in front of Merle. But I think this gives me, now I'm sort of in the doorway, but this gives me a big area right here to put the treadmill and that little exerciser. So that's where it's going to go. And his room's going to be packed. I mean, it's just is because he is a collect, he's got collectibles. He's a collection dude. Sort of like his mama. Except I, I don't really, he loves clowns. He's always loved clowns since he was a little bitty boy. Little boy. And almost every clown he has, he has picked out on his own. These are his clowns. And the kids say it's for the other kids hate it. The other kids hate it, but he loves it. Look at his little musical clowns. The ones with their little, little band. They're just, they're adorable. This is the first clown I got him after the fire. This one right here with the little round glasses that to me look like Levi. And I got him that when we were still living in the camper house after the fire and then he was given this clown for christmas from one of tony's girlfriends actually um i believe he got this one from another one of tony's girlfriends <laughs> oh. and this one too i didn't get any of these pictures for him these were gotten from Maybe two of them came from one of the girlfriends and then the other one was from another girlfriend. But anyway, every, you know what? Everybody loves Levi. Anyway, then I got him this one too. Probably our first Christmas in this house. That one I got him when we lived in the camper. This one I got him in the first Christmas. And this has slowly happened over the last few Christmases and birthdays. This collection. Now, he's got bears right here, if you can see these bears. I don't know if any of you guys know the Country Bears. There is a movie called The Country Bears. This is the Country Bears. There's Tennessee, there's Trixie, Zeb Zuba. Barry is the little boy, the little country bear that went off in search of the band members, the Country Bears, um, Big Al. Henry, did I already say Henry? Um, I don't remember what all their names are. He can tell you who they are. I, I forget. Anyway, he's just, he's collected. Look, here's Wilbur. Wilbur. Christmas time, Wilbur. Nutcrackers. Oh, he's in there giggling at something. Oh. 
I see car lights and it looks like it's police lights. It looks like there's lights on the top. Oh no, that's that man getting home over there. His big truck has lights on the top. Anyway, um, so this is just a little bit of his stuff that he collects. Salt and pepper shakers. He picked those out of the resale shop himself. He needed them. That's what he said he needed them. Um, Chef Louis. He used to have a whole bunch of Chef Louis before the fire. And if y'all remember, Chef Louis is in the in the in the Little Mermaid movie, trying to kill the crab. And then here is his Winnie the Pooh stuff, his Toy Story stuff. I made him these little violets for his room. With I didn't really like the colors, but it was the only Toy Story fabric I could find at the time. So I made him a little violets out of it. Um, little clowns up there. He's pointing at him and his pants are falling down. Uh, there's Toy Story characters. He's, he's just got a, a little bit of everything. There's his, his, um, Noah's Ark collection. There's the Grinch down in there. Just got him a year or so ago. Last year, the year before last. That is the 1994... Or whatever year that Grinch, the Grinch with wood, uh, with uh, Jim Carrey came out, that is that Grinch. I had to get him off eBay, and he was very expensive. Leva had him, like just got it. Walmart had after that movie came out. His face changes, and when you change his face, the sayings with if he's got the Grinch face, he says the Grinch sayings when you pull the string um, or squeeze him or something. And if you change his face to the happy Grinch when he's happy and sweet, then he says sweet things. Anyway, so, um, yeah, this is just all of his collection of stuff. There's my boys when they were little. Look at his little face. Buddy, Tony, and my little Levi. Is there stuff even back here behind this door? Let me see. Bulldogs, because he's always wanted a bulldog, but I can't afford a bulldog because I think they have breathing problems and we can't afford vets like that for dogs that have breathing issues. <laughs> Talladega Nights, Cinderella, oh, behind him in live in concert. Poor baby wasn't even alive in 1985. <laughs> Neither was Buddy. It's a Tigger. The Tigger movie poster. Anyway, he's just got a little bit of everything. He's very well rounded in the things that he, he enjoys so much. He's such a happy happy Levi is so happy a happy kid the puzzles I've put together for him I use the packing tape and uh, so they'll all stay together the pieces once I put them together and then I just did a collage on the wall of them anyway this is his room look at this. he's got beads Mardi Gras beads this is his room he loves it, and I think this is going to be perfect. It's at least going to get it out of my living room. So we can still both work out, and he can walk during the day and stuff. But the room is its out of the living room. I can't, I can't take it in the living room anymore. So this is where he is. So, yes. For you guys that still think, some of you guys don't understand Levi in the bed situation. I don't know. He's had beds. When we first got into this house, this was his room originally. And he had, his desk was over there in that corner. And he had a full-size bed that come out into the room. And he would sit on the side, his, 
Then he had a table. This may have been here. I don't remember, but I know the bed was right here. And he could sit on the bed. He didn't even have to sit in his desk chair. He sat on his bed and messed with his laptop. And he was always burning m music or listening to music on his lap laptop with his headphones. And I have pictures. I even, I think I had a picture in the most recent when I did the autism awareness pictures. I think y'all seen a picture of him sitting on his bed with his headphones on. Or at least sitting on his bed with his computer right there. It was right there. He didn't have to move. Um... So this was his room then, and then at some point we moved him, and he moved to the front where the kids' playroom is now, and he had a, he went from a full-size bed to a twin-size bed in there. Then he came back to this room at some point. I think that may have been when I moved him back here because he kept coming to my, he was in there, and he kept coming to my room, and I thought maybe because he thought he was too far away from me. But that was the reason why I moved in there was because he stays up at night and I had to work and I couldn't be up all night long listening to him talk and bang and all the stuff that he does. So I moved into the front room and then he would come to my room to sleep. And I thought, okay, I'll fix this. I'll put him back in this room. And I'd already gotten rid of his full size bed. So I got him the futon. And I laid it out and I put um, a crate, an egg crate thing on it and put the mattress, the sheet on it and had it, I had it set up more like a, a bed instead of a chair, a couch. And um, I don't know, it has a middle thing that comes down and I think it's got drink holders in it. But he's never really used it like that. We had it as a bed, and then we, he wouldn't sleep in it. So I set it back up as a chair, as a couch. And it's been a couch ever since. But it has to lean up against the wall like it's pushed. Because he's already broke it. If it don't have the wall to, to lay against, it will lay flat like a bed. It He's already broke the, the thing that made it go up and down. He's broke it. Anyway, so... I don't know why he wants to sleep in mom's room. That's just part of his disability. It's part of, yes, you look at this big old guy and he's, you know, 27 years old, but his mind is not 27 years old. His mind sort of, you know, sometimes is not three years old. And then sometimes he's a seven year old. And sometimes he's somewhere in between, but he's, you know, his mind is little. And I have to always remember that when I get upset with him or or whatever, I have to remember. But this is Levi's room. You can see he's got his list going in here. And he's got a list pile in that living room. He's got lists going. But, um... I'm going to holler at him. Levi, come here, baby. I'm fixing to go to bed. I'm getting tired. Look how he writes and it imprints into the. What do you think about your room? It's good. Changed around like this. Good. You like it? Yeah. Um. Hi. Hi. Uh. Would you tell them, people, what all this stuff is? My clowns and stuff. It's your clowns and stuff. What do you call it? My collection. Your collection. And it's clowns and what are the other ones? My Santa Claus collection. Your Santa Claus collection. But what do you call these? What are these? Nutcrackers. Nutcrackers. And what about those right there? What are those from? Well, the country those, bears. The country bears? Yeah. Do you know who all those people are? Yes. Tell me who they are. Can you name their names? One of them named Barry. Barry. Yeah. And Trixie. Trixie. Mm -hmm. Henry Taylor. Henry Taylor. Mm -hmm. And Big Al. Big Al. Mm -hmm. uh, who plays the harmonica? Uh, that was playing when that girl and she changed into those white clothes and they were. He was playing his harmonica. Who is that? 
circumstances. That, no, not Zeb. Oh. Zeb Zuba plays the the fiddle. Yeah. Who played the harmonica? And she says, you're from the Country Bears? And he goes, you gotta play with us. Who is that? And she went and got dressed in that white white suit, and I said how cute she was. Ted Betterhead. That's Ted mm. Betterhead. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think we're back in here. You're coming back in here? We'll turn the TV off. Okay, so anyway, this is his room. And we're going to put the treadmill in here. So I've moved his futon to over there and I'm gonna get this I gotta sneak this bag out I told him you could have two bags can't have three you gotta sneak it out of here but this is his room guys oh my gosh I still have a my trail is still up there I wonder how long that's been in here that's too funny all right I'm gonna go and um, I will see you guys later. This is Levi's room. That's what I'm gonna call this, this one, Levi's room. Katie, I'm trying to do a video.